I came to this country uh, from Guyana when I was two. Uh, when we first came, uh, we were living in the Kingsbridge section of the Bronx, which is around Marble Hill. Uh, it was 1984. Um, this was during the rise and like uh, height of the crack era. Coming from a third world country where, you know, most people don't have a, a refrigerator, <laughs> let alone, you know, guns and crack. Uh, you know, we were totally unprepared for this kind of environment. My brother was my main caretaker, and uh, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have made it out of there. Being a landlord, I, I have to check up on the properties every couple of days. There's this lady literally camped out in front of the store. The grades are closed, everything. So I told her, you know, you got to leave. You got to get out of here. And, um, you know, she responds. She gets up, you know, pretty agitated, violent. She's like, who are you? And I told her, you know, I own this building. She was like, you don't own shit. You know, get the fuck out of here. And so, you know, I got, I got crazy right then and there. You telling me I don't own anything? You camped out in front of my store. She took a swing at me. And eventually somebody decided to call the cops and the cops came. Uh, at first, the cops didn't want to take a report. I told her this. I told them this lady's an ADP, uh, which you know is their, their terminology for an emotionally disturbed person. Very reluctantly, you know, they they were like, "All right, we'll we'll take your statement and we'll file a report against this woman." At some point, uh, people, somebody gave me a chance, you know, and uh, I had to make the most of it. And uh, I, prior to teaching, I was investigating New York City Police Department of allegations of misconduct. Uh, very unfulfilling. Your hands are tied. And so I felt that there were better ways to provide opportunity and to help people. And so that's why I returned to collegiate. Um, being in the classroom every day with these guys is a, is a thrill. It's a pleasure. Um, you know, of course, it's different. They're bringing in a lot of different uh, experience. Uh, their schema is, is, is wider in some senses, but much narrower in a lot of other regards. I box a lot. Uh, I used to box like an animal when I was younger. Uh, got it from my dad. My dad always had me doing martial arts and boxing and shit. So, um, you know, grew up like that, fighting. Nobody ever hit me as hard as dude, and I used to hate him, you know what I mean? As, like a brother hates a brother, you know what I mean? But uh, I'll give anything for him to punch the shit out of me today, you know?